Creating your landing page doesn't need to be technical, but it is important to get it right. You need to ensure that your landing page is engaging and encourages your students to scroll up and to click the Buy Now button. So what's involved with setting up your landing page if you are self-hosting on a platform like Thinkific? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to run through those steps and guide you through that process to ensure you can upload um, your, get your landing page ready so when you are ready to upload your course, you have everything ready to go. So I'm going to actually refer to a lesson within a free course that I've created and you're very welcome to access the free course on how to create your own online course using the Thinkific platform. Just make sure you check out the links below in the description. So let's get into the lesson now. I really hope you enjoy it and I hope it guides you through those exact steps to ensure that you can create your landing page ready to go for Thinkific. Finally, before I forget, there is a link below that will provide you with a 30-day free trial on the start plan with Thinkific and it will provide you with a lot of different features that will help to engage your students but also allow you to get more sales. So make sure you check out that below. Okay, let's get into things now. Design and branding. In this lesson, we're going to investigate the different things you need to consider when you are designing your course, whether it's going to be on brand with your current business or your personal style, and how Thinkific allows you to tailor that within the platform and on the dashboard. So I've now jumped on the dashboard, and I'm going to show you through a couple of the key areas on the dashboard where you can look at your design, how you're going to build your landing page, and what kind of considerations you need to have for your course. Because you might create three or four different courses that are quite similar, but then change direction. And they're the kinds of things you need to take in consideration. You don't want to be creating a, uh, a primary landing page for all of your courses if you start with gardening and then you suddenly transition to financial investment. So you need to think long term and how that will play out for you. So let's go to the dashboard right now and you can see where it has design your site on the left hand panel here. So we fully click that, then you go to site pages and you can see the different pages that I've got for my courses so far. So you can see the different course pages here. So if we go to this one just here, so if we edit, we can either edit it, we can copy the page or we can view in a new tab. So if we view in a new tab, this is now what the page looks like. It's got the main, uh, what they call the hero image, and then you've got the course curriculum, what you will learn, a bit about myself. And if we go back again, you can also see the home page. Now, the home page is what you'll need to design for all your courses to be um, hosted on. So if we click and have a look at this, this is mine, how I've designed, designed mine. So I've used these from Canva and they allow you to create these images. And I can see how all my courses are here. So as you hover over them, it lifts up. And you can, if you click on that, it will take you to the page. So these are my eight courses at the moment. And then I've also got a bundles, which are put in there as well. So if we go to page number two, the bundles should come up. Yep, the bundles are here as well. And they will show up for those that are wanting to purchase maybe all your courses as part of that bundle. So when you go to this, you can edit your main course page or your home page. So if I go to edit the page, it'll then take me to the site builder. And the site builder will provide you with different things you can do. So if you click on theme settings, you can look at the different styles. You can look at uh, different colors, typography. And if we go to the actual page, if you click on the banner, you can see the different headings. If we were to change, if we were to go back, you see down here how it'll change it. You can change the hero settings. A subheading is this section just here, so you can change that. You can do different sizes. 
the hero image is this main image here. Now, if you look at the hero image, it'll give you the size right here. What I do is I've created this in Canva and I've got the exact size. So I'll quickly go to that one in a moment. And this is the hero image I've used for how to successfully launch a book. This size, if we go to the actual size, it's the 1440 by 720. So if we have a look at that, so 1440 by 720, this is a different one. We might go back and go to discard changes. We are going to go back and go to uh, this one just here. So if we edit, and you can see this page here. So when you do your header, the header will be positioned right in this place right here. These buttons can be generated as well, but your hero image is this image in this space. And if we wanted to um, edit it, you can just edit the header. And if we go back to Canva, that's the image here. So I've added the image and then I just added the, when I add the banner or the writing, I add the contents or the headers right in that spot right there. So if we go back here again, so you can click on the banner, you've got the hero image which you can upload, which is this main image here. And if we keep going down, picture in picture, you can use a video, you can use it from YouTube, you can add another image here. Everyone's gonna have their own unique kinds of things that they want, but you can add buttons. So the buttons, if we go to the button, you can do a link. So the buttons are these. You can have a link to something as well. So if we got the buy now, which is that one right there, and you've got the default uh, pricing, you've got a link to the checkout page, your course page, your bundle page. So you can change those and you can, um, you can add extra ones if you want to. Then you can add sections. So we've got the curriculum. So when you add the curriculum, that will automatically load once you've uploaded your course. You've also got the heading, so course curriculum. You can change that, you can center it. And then you've also, you've also got the layout, so it can collapse. So if we go back one, you've got your teacher. So that will be what you'll learn. And I've got that teacher as well. And you can add these buttons by adding a section. So if I went add section, it will then give me options to choose. So I can choose another banner, bonus material, call to action. I can click on one of those and that will add the actual section. Then you just edit it and it will continue to, to, to uh, roll, scroll down the screen as you, as you do that. So I'll show you one other example. So if we go to the publishing accelerator, I've actually got a few more things. So if we go to, we might just look at the page view. So if we go to this now, I've added a few more. So I've got my reviews of the course. I've got a video. I've got the course overview, which is quite in depth. It's a very big course, that one. My backstory, I've got about the creator, important steps, bonus materials, and another banner down there. So that you can continue, it's like a website, and you can just continue to add different features and information to it. So you can add the social proof, promotions, pop-ups. It really is very comprehensive. Now it would take me a long time to show you each of these and how to design it. What I recommend you do is when you create your course that you keep it simple to begin with and then you as you get more familiar you can add more information but you can change around which is your home page as well uh, you can uh, do a new custom page so there's different things you can add to ensure that it fits onto your uh, your main home page so if we go to the preview the website then this will take us directly to this again. So you can see all those sections there. So that's under design your site. And when we're adding the course further in this, into this course, 
I will, and when we're, up, when we're up to loading it, I will show you how to create some of this information. So it makes it a bit easier to action for you. Design of your course using Canva. It's important that we look at some of the design elements. You might like to outsource your design, or you might like to create the design yourself. And you can do that using Canva. So I'm going to show you a few small tips you can use when you're designing your thumbnails and your hero images for your courses using Canva. If you haven't been introduced to Canva before, it's a great design tool. You can access Canva for free or you can uh, do the pro plan, but you do get an initial free period of time that you might be 14 days. So let me just have a look at this. So you can go to uh, free. So that's for anyone that's wanting to do some initial design and get used to it. Or you can go to the pro plan and that's what I have. And you can start your free pro trial. And then if you look at the prices, this is in Australian dollars. So it's probably going to be around about $110 US. And you can start accessing the Canva Pro. I just find it to be amazing and a, and a great way of designing excellent design that I don't have to outsource. And I actually enjoy the design element. So you can do the Canva for free and you can also choose to do the Canva Pro and you can do a free trial if you want to. And you can also do monthly or yearly plans. So I'll provide the link in the resources of the course, uh, but I highly recommend taking a look at Canva. So let's get into some different things you can do with Canva right now as I access my account. One of the first things you might like to do is to create your instructor profile, which we mentioned in a previous lesson. To create your customer, sorry, custom instructor profile, just go to the courses section, then instructors, and then you can go new instructor. Now you have your 500 by 500 image. So if we were to go back to Canva, we go up here and we go create new design, and you can custom it. So I go custom, and it's in the pixels. So we do 500 by 500, and create new design. So we're given the space here. Now you can upload different images. If you want to, you can use design elements. So what I'm gonna do is quickly go to uploads and I'll upload an image that I could use for my uh, profile. So I go to uploads and I found my image here. So I've just clicked on it once and now it is on the side there. So I can position that where I want it to be, so I might have it down here. And therefore you could have it like that and you might want to put your name. So if you go to uh, text, then you can either choose a number of different options down here that might be suitable, or you can just go to text again and you can click one of these and I might bring this up here and I might say Romney Nelson. And if I want to change that, I've got different texts that I can choose from, either ones that I've used recently or ones that I know I could use another time. You can also upload different fonts. So if I, I know there's one called Jimmy. So if I use Jimmy script, it looks more of a autograph. Like that. Now the other thing is you can do, if I just add an extra page, if I go to templates, this will provide like a lot of different templates you might like to choose, and you could use these. So you might even choose so this one here, and you might make it Romney, online course uh, teacher or instructor, and you could then copy and paste that down here. Now I could potentially put that in in the gap here. If 
probably not going to work that well. I'm not quite sure about that one. That one. But you might like to even bring this up here. I might just reduce that. Now, if you highlight the whole area, see how it copies everything. So you can actually move everything and you can reduce things like this as well. So you might even put that up here. Like that. And I might bring this down here again. I might expand it to the sides. And I might bring this like this. Oops, I've captured them all together. I might just bring that down. Just like that. Bring it down a little bit. And I can expand that, bring that down to the bottom. And that might be something I might like to do. So you can then save that. So you go share and you can have uh, you can, so you go to download. Now you can choose a PNG image or a JPEG for this in instance. Now best for can probably that is the one we choose. Now you can also do a transparent background. That might be what we want. Rather than a white background, we can do a transparent. So we're going to do that. Before we do that though, I need to get rid of this second image, or this first image. So I'm going to just delete that one. That'll be the one that we use. I then Share, download, transparent background, download that. We wait for that to download, then it'll provide the images down here. And we can have a quick look. So it's not going to work. So that's why it's important to try and check out what that's going to look like. So that doesn't look very good. So what I might do is even use, I'm going to use the white background on this one. So I'm going to download this again. I'm going to share it, download. I'm not going to use a transparent background. And I'm going to download that again. Then what I'm going to do is show in the folder. It's this one right here. So I might just rename that and call it call or uh, author bio image. Okay. Then we Cut that. I'm going to put that in my folder and go back here. And then I can upload the image just there. Then I can do Henry Nelson. And I can do anything that I want to. So we can just save that for the moment uh, i might do rom i might just do rom just so i don't get confused when i do other instructors just this is a uh, just a look at it to see what it looks like and then we save it and then it's saved so you can do something like this if you want i'm going to go back i quite like that image so i'm going to go back and edit my main one here and i'm going to upload that image again which is just, uh, where is it going there? I'm going to upload and I'm going to use it from now on. So when you see my courses, you'll actually see that new image. And that's the one there. So then when we go to the pages, the courses, let's go and have a look and see what that looks like. So we go to courses. Let's just go to this one. And we're going to go to preview actually we'll go to build landing page and then when we scroll down you'll see it there so that's how it's going to come up on your site and we can uh, copy the link page so copied so let's just have a look if we do that this is the page so if we scroll down you'll see my profile picture right there. So that's how you design a pixel image or a an instructor image for your uh, courses and for your instructor bio. So we close it up. The next thing we wanted to do would be to build the, if we go to settings on this one, we've got our course image 
and this is the one here where it's a coarse thumbnail. So it's a 760 by 420. So if we go back here and we go back to home and we do another one, 760 by 420 and create a new design. And again, you can look at different templates that might be good for your course development. So you might want something like this. So you can just choose one of these images. And if you wanted to change what the image was there, you can hover over it, delete that. And if I did an upload of, say, this image here, I just push this into here, and then it goes into there. So you can change this around. You can do the colors, different colors. Now, if you're wanting to know what that color blue is, you go to the plus, click on the eyedropper, hover over it, and it changes. So we might want that to be white. And we could call it Thinkific. And you could change all these up to white as well. You might have a different color here that you would wish to do. You might want that to be completely white. And you can just keep changing things around. You might find another template that you might wish to use. You might like to go do it completely from scratch and you might like to create your own design. So I'd recommend going through the different elements. So if we wanted to do television, click on television and they all come up. Now remember, if you're using the pro plan, all these are going to be available. See how it's got a little crown? That means it's pro plan only. But if you're on the, on the free version of Canva, you won't be able to use these. You could, but you have to pay a fee every time. So that's why I recommend the Pro plan. It is such an affordable plan to get access to all these. So it's a, a crown there, crown there, crown there. So if you were to reduce, if you were to limit it to um, just free, for example, this limits it then just to the free things that are available. However, if I just did Pro, then everything becomes available for me. So there's a lot of different options that you have under the Pro plan. You can also do an element where if you had an upload and you wanted this one right here, then you can go to Edit Image and you can do a Smart Mockup. You can scroll down, you might like it to be on a laptop. So then it'll actually put the logo on the laptop for you. So it looks realistic and then you can develop your course around that. Another thing you might want to do, if you delete that, again, this is under the pro plan, there are different things that are available. If we go to this just here, it's just me smiling away. If you go to edit the image and you go to background remover, it's under the pro plan only, then that will reduce all of the different elements behind me or get rid of them and might just leave me. I'm hoping to anyway. We'll wait and see how this turns out. There it is. So that allows me to then use my image to create different thumbnails if I want my image to be on there as well. Uh, you might want the background change. So we've got background here and we can use this and you can that's just the little icon for Thinkific and if you wanted to you could edit the image and you could do uh, across we could do shadows so you might want to do a page lift so that'll actually lift me up so if i get rid of this blue background you can see how that has now lifted me up it's a little bit grainy at the moment it will fix itself after a little while it's savings paused so sometimes that occasionally happens so i might just go back Oops, now I've gone skinny. <laughs> Sometimes there's a few little glitches that do happen when you do that, but overall, though, it's brilliant. You can change a lot of different things. There's uh, templates, there's elements, there's uploads, different projects that you have, styles. You can do a QR code. You can add drawing if you want to. So you can go down and add um, different things so there's other discoverabilities that you can do and imports if you want to link up to facebook instagram uh 
there's a lot of different things you can do with that. Now the last one was, so the thumbnail we had listed, which was the 760 by 420. The other major one, which was under the build landing page, we would want to do our hero image. So if we go banner, hero image, that's a 1440 by 720. So if we go back here, under Canva Pro, I could go resize and resize it, but under the free plan, you can't do that. So you'd need to do a brand new one. Uh, I think it was 720, was it? Let's just double check that. Yes, correct. So we go back here. And this will create another design for our hero image. Again, you can use different templates if you wanted to, to, to create your hero image. And you might like real life photos. You might like to have some characters put in there. You may like to have your own picture in here. So if we got rid of that lady there and we had uploads and I had my own picture, just so that was this one here. If I put that in there, I could put myself in there and you can change all the different colors. You can see the colors up here. Now, a Canva lesson tutorial could take up to two hours. So I just wanted to show you some basic features of Canva and the way that you can use Canva to create your thumbnails, your hero images and your author profiles. And I definitely recommend if you're wanting to do some of your own design initially, it is certainly a great investment. So hopefully that short tutorial on Canva will help you and you can uh, start going ahead and designing your own author profile picture as a starting point. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial on how to create your landing page for Thinkific. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you give me the thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're made aware of more online course creation tools and resources that I develop. So thank you very much. Looking forward to providing more content in the future. Goodbye.